School football games aren't the only areas health experts say we need to be more cautious of. Today, the CEO of Huntsville Hospital and Huntsville Mayor Tommy Battle shared their concerns about college students heading to the bars after they return to campus. Way 31 Sophia Borelli joins us live in downtown Huntsville with what they had to say and why they think the situation in Huntsville is under control. Sophia. Establishments like these ones behind me have to stop serving alcohol at 11 at night. And now Mayor Tommy Battle says that paired with the masking mandate from the governor says he thinks is why he believes that the coronavirus cases have been down. I think we are on the right track uh, at this time. Um, Tuscaloosa had a little bit more of a problem than we had, um, especially with the college, um, the college students coming back to campus. Uh, I think that their their uh, their steps were probably very appropriate steps, just because of the um, intensity that they were seeing of people getting together and the probability of uh, having spiked cases in the next uh, 10 to 15 days. Huntsville Hospital CEO David Spiller says seeing pictures and video like this out of Tuscaloosa does make him worry about the number of coronavirus cases those communities may see in the next two to three weeks. A little concerned about what we see in the communities that uh, have large universities. You all saw the pictures. Um, hard to imagine that that's not going to lead to an increase in positive cases in those communities. Mayor Tommy Battle said he has spoken with local bar and restaurant owners and says they know the severity of not following the current guidelines. Our uh, restaurants and lounges um, have taken this very seriously. They understand this is a licensing issue. Uh, ABC has holds their license. If they don't comply with it, ABC will pull their license. Uh, and every, every one of them that we have talked to or had conversation with have, have followed through very well on this. Spillers also said that college students need to take this virus seriously or they may have to transition to online classes. Live in downtown Huntsville, Sophia Borelli, Way 31 News. Huntsville Hospital CEO says he expects to see a spike in cases on some campuses, but says he hopes college students won't become sick enough to overwhelm hospital systems.